Bayan Pilipinas. Ito na ang buwan ng Disyembre at panahon na ng Kapaskuhan. Sana'y maging maganda para sa ating lahat ang pagpasok ng buwan. Itong mga panahon ding ito, ating pinahahalagahan ang mga naglilingkod sa gobyerno dahil mula noong November 30 hanggang ngayong December 6 ay National Government Employees Week at ang selebrasyon ay pinangunahan ng Pangulo sa Malacanang. Kanyang kinilala rito ang importanteng kontribusyon ng public sector workers pagdating sa nation building at higit sa lahat kung paano nila mapapangalagaan at mapoproteksyonan ang kalikasan. Dahil yan ang tema natin this year, ang paglilingkod sa kalikasan tungkuli ng bawat kawani ng pamahalaan. Sa isa pang okasyon na dinaluhan ng Pangulong Kamakainan lang, sinabi ni Pangulong Arroyo na ang Pilipinas bukod sa mga binibigay na grants ay mas aasa sa mga concessional loans at hindi sa pangungutang para sa rehabilitation and reconstruction ng mga nasirang infrastruktura sa Luzon tulot ng Bagyong Ondoy at Pepe. May tinatayang $5 billion na pledges na ang tinanggap ng Pilipinas mula sa mga local and international funding agencies. Yan ay ayon sa report na isinumite sa Pangulo ng Finance Secretary at Chairman ng Philippine Private Public Reconstruction Commission na si Margarito Teves. Nagsimula na ang 18-day campaign period para wakasan ang karahasan laban sa kababaihan. Ang kampanyang yan ay pinangungunahan ng Philippine Commission on Women, ang komisyon na kumikilos para sa pagtataguyod ng gender equality at sa mga karapatan ng kababaihan. Tunghaya natin ang buong ulat dito sa atin ito. Taon-taon, nakikibahagi ang Pilipinas sa paggunita ng buong mundo sa kampanya para wakasan ang karahasan laban sa kababaihan. Ito ang 18-day campaign to end violence against women o VOW na ginaganap mula November 25 ang tinaguri ang International Day Against VOW hanggang December 12 na kung saan nabuo ang United Nations Convention Against Transnational Crime. Para sa taong ito, ang tema ng 18-day campaign ay Commit, Act, Demand. We can end violence against women. There's a difference because before, what we were doing is awareness. No? Parang we want the media to help us also um, tell everybody that we have this law that can protect women against violence. And then, but this time, ang kaibahan natin is that We, it's not anymore awareness. We have to really act and demand something out of this law. No? Yun ang kaibahan natin. Kung baga, action na. Hindi na tayo pwede maghintay. Kailangan hindi lang pairali nito. Kung hindi, gawa na ng dapat kaparusahan kung dapat na bigyan ng parusa. Or dapat din uh, tulungan natin ang ating mga kasambahay na naghihirap dahil sa mga abuses. Very apt, and I would like to put it within the context of the judiciary. We can say that the judges ought to be committed to the um, drive to end violence. And the commitment should not only uh, remain as commitment, but that judges should be able to uh, act in consonance with their commitment to end domestic violence or violence against women. And then finally, In a manner of speaking, the judges or the judiciary are able to uh, rise up to the demand of um, ending domestic violence. The judges would have to apply the law. May git dalawang daong partners, advocates at mga bisita ang dumalo sa pagsisimula ng 18-day campaign to end vow noong November 25 sa Rembrandt Hotel. Ang buong araw na programa ay pinamunuan ng Philippine Commission on Women o PCW ang bagong pangalan ng National Commission on the Role of Filipino Women. It's because the Magna Carta of Women law was passed and uh, we're very happy that our president has uh, signed this law. And uh, dahil dyan, kasi maraming nahabaan doon sa National Commission on the Role of Filipino Women, we just want to make it 
simpler and easy to uh, remember, so we uh, changed it to Philippine Commission on Women. Unang bahagi ng programa, iniulat sa mga nagsipagdalo ang updates sa pagpapatupad ng Republic Act No. 9208 o ang Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003 ng Interagency Council Against Trafficking. Sinundan ito ng report ng Interagency Council on Violence Against Women and Their Children tungkol sa strategic plan for 2007 hanggang 2010 para lalong mapabuti ang implementasyon ng Republic Act No. 9262 o ang Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act. Sa ikalawang bahagi ng programa, Ginawara ng Naga City bilang Outstanding Vow Responsive Local Government Unit at kinilala ang labing isa pang LGU finalists sa naturang parangal. Line ng award na kilalanin ang mga barangays, municipalities and cities with clear policies, programs, services and interventions and implementing and monitoring mechanisms to address violence against women. Ang iba pang finalists ay ang mga sumusunod. Barangay Luz, Cebu City, Amlan, Negros Oriental, New Lucena, Iloilo City, Jones, Isabela, Kalumpit, Bulacan, Kalawag, Quezon, Tupi, South Cotabato, Olongapo City, Quezon City, San Juan City, at Davao City. When the 11 finalists were announced earlier, I was telling Councilor Lavadilla who was with me, they might have forgotten us uh, because um, Naga City was not being called. At any rate, this is indeed a very pleasant surprise. Um, I am representing Naga as the current president of the Naga City Council for Women. But the, but the programs and advocacies of the um, women sector of Naga have been... Um, established way before I became president of the council. So this recognition would have to be shared with the many city officials who have been part and parcel of, of this award and of the gains that we have had with regards to our gender program. Um, we would like to thank the NCRFW, the DILG, and all the other agencies um, who have been part of this program for thinking of such an activity, as this would certainly inspire not only the other local government units, but all the other workers um, within and outside of the government sector to continue working for the promotion of um, not only women's rights, but gender equality as well. So thank you very much again and good afternoon. Highlight din ang programa noong November 25 ang Gender Justice Awards 2 which recognizes judges from the lower courts, regional trial courts, and the Sandigan Bayan justices who have handled cases involving violence against women and have rendered a gender-sensitive decision mula January 2004 hanggang December 2008. Ibig sabihin nito, uh, we're awarding mga fiscals, uh, especially those who are able to um, uh, give the right, uh, I would say, the right um, penalty for those who acted against uh, this uh, law, of the violence against women law. No? And uh, napaka-importante nito, we are doing this kasi importante ng ating uh, mga mga fiscals, judges, eh magkaroon ng awareness because nakikita namin may pagkabagal ang pagbibigay ng justice uh, or justicia sa mga, mga naaabuso. So we have to really um, try to uh, uh, encourage them to at least do something about it. No? Hindi yung patatagalin pa. Kung nakita natin may kasalanan talaga, gawa na ng paraan, lalo na ng ating mga ano, mga nasa nasa mga judges natin, di ba?